Hey, I'm Vanessa Joy. I'm going to show you exactly how to use Bounce Flash. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer here in the New York, New Jersey area. If you like photography and want to learn more, make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications when new videos pop up. Bounce Flash is super helpful in any kind of events or indoor area. Using direct flash doesn't usually give you a very flattering light pattern. Um, it is about 95,000 degrees in here, so we're gonna do this really fast, but I promise the concept is pretty easy. You need a flash. I'm using the Profoto A1X here, but the concepts that I'm teaching you will work with any kind of flash that you are using. It's about where you're pointing the flash, not necessarily what flash you have. So this will not work if you are in a place that has dark ceilings, will not work at all. If you have light ceilings like this, it's going to work perfectly. This, where you've got basically a big white tent, is ideal. So these photos are probably going to look better than most bounce flash videos that you've seen because this is an ideal scenario. If you're in a building where there is some dark walls and some light walls, get used to where that light colored wall is. That's going to be your friend. Now, what you want to do is have control of the head of your flash and you need a flash that tilts and swivels around like this. If there is only one light wall or ceiling, you're going to always point this light at that wall or ceiling. Now, preferably, I like to point it a little bit back and at about a 45 degree angle up. The reason being is it's gonna bounce up that way and when it comes and bounces back at my subject, I'm going to light their face. So depending on which direction they're turned, that's where I want to point the light. So I'm going to have a lower ISO here to mimic more of a dark scenario so you can really see the flash working. So let's go ahead and take a picture without the flash on at all. We'll see what that looks like. Wonderful. Super dark and completely useless, <laughs> but that's about where you want to start. When you're setting your exposure, you actually want it to look somewhat like this, where you can still see the background a little bit, but once you flash, it's going to illuminate it a little bit more. Now, depending if there's uplighting or candles or other elements in the room, your settings are going to vary. So me telling you what settings I have is a little bit irrelevant, but I will tell you this. When I'm usually at a wedding reception, I'm typically between 1600 and 2000 on my ISO. ISO. I'm roughly around 2.5 on my aperture because that's the kind of look I want. And then I am as high as I can get on my camera's sync speed, which for this camera right here is 200th of a second so that I can freeze action because I am letting ambient light into the room. I need to freeze the action with my shutter speed as well as this flash. Okay. From there, once you get your base exposure, turn on your flash, and I like to have it set to TTL. I want my flash doing the work for me, especially since I'm moving around constantly. It needs to reevaluate how bright the flash needs to be. Admittedly, the straight out of camera photos that you will be seeing throughout this entire video are a little bit dark and a little bit yellow. I really should have checked my histogram instead of just looking at the back of the LCD screen. So lesson learned. Anyway, here's how I edited them in Lightroom, just brightening them up, adding a little bit of color adjustment and smoothing out the skin. I hope you like them and let's get back into how I got them. All right, so Juliana is gonna keep her face towards this direction, which means I'm going to point my light towards that direction. Now again, if you only have one white wall, one light colored wall, your choice is to point your flash at that light no matter where you're standing or where your subject is. If you have control, you might wanna plan that out. All right, let's go ahead and take a shot. Wonderful, so this looks pretty good. I'm gonna come in a little bit closer. I'm actually gonna raise my ISO a little bit because my flash power was at 10, meaning it's working pretty hard. And me raising the ISO, will help my flash not have to pump out so much light. Great. So as you can see with this photo, the light is towards and going into her eyes. Now I'm gonna have her stay that way. And if I take this flash and I point it the other direction, let's look at what it does to the light pattern on her face. Turn your head a little more that way, yep. Good. Now the light pattern on her face, there's no light in her eyes. And the only thing I'm really lighting is the side of her nose here as opposed to before, look how gorgeous that light is on her. 
All right, now the same thing happens whether you want to go horizontal or vertical. So you're gonna get used to playing this game of moving your flash around. I've got a lot coming for you, but first a little freebie. Download my free posing inspiration guide. You can download it in the link in the description below. So whether you're shooting horizontal or vertical, that means you're going to have to continually change this. So if I just shot like this, Juliana, and she is going to look great with the light coming from that side, that means when I go vertical, I can't leave it here. I've got to turn it up and back into the position that it was before to get a vertical photo. Nice with the same light pattern. Do that one more time, but just bring this arm back. Nice, and then turn a little bit towards me. Perfect, so as you're shooting throughout, you know, people are dancing and you're moving around, you're constantly moving your light depending on where the direction of the person's face is going and where your wall is and if you're shooting horizontal or vertical. So that's what you have to think about for bounce flash. It's probably the way that I shoot 99% of my events. And if I can't have a white wall, that's when I'm using off camera flash. There's another video for that. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. I'm sweating. Please let me know if this was helpful for you. Hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time here on my channel. Bye.